Hi, I'm Piglet. Join me and my friends on a trip across the North Yorkshire Moors Railway. So Sarah, it's really nice of you to join us on this, this journey on the railway. Because I guess, you know, you're normally in the tea room, aren't you? Well, this is great to be able to be out and on the railway line and seeing what everybody else gets to enjoy. Mm. It's, it's brilliant. How long have you been with us then on the railway now? Three, four years. Still loving it? Absolutely love it. The tea room's the hub of the railway, I think. I must admit, and it's where most of the sort of chats go on, isn't it? It's where yeah. everyone gets together. It's a hive of activity in the morning. <laughs> isn't it? The smiles on the faces, isn't it? When that engine comes into the station, oh, yeah. there's nothing quite like it, is yeah. it? You, know, the you steam. see kids excited running out yeah. there to see the trains, they yeah. love it. The engines are the rock stars, ultimately, aren't they? They're, like, they're the main event, but it's actually very much about the people. The yeah. people are what make the railway. Yeah. Really and everybody is. who works on the railway and volunteers is passionate about what they do. Mm, yeah. They're here because they want to be and they love it. There can't be many places to work where actually people want to come and volunteer to do what you're doing. Yeah. You know, and that's yeah. really special. Increasingly, you know, running a railway like this is very challenging, you know, and there's a lot of costs involved in that, a lot of skills that require to keep it going. So there's a lot of work still to do in the future to keep this railway up and running for future generations to enjoy. Yeah, and it's got to be kept going. We, we need the new generation coming along. <laughs> there's no question, is there? <laughs> We've got to keep this going, you know, because there's nothing that quite matches this. Is, is there any areas of the railway you'd like to have a look at or get involved in? I'd love to have a go on the footplate. Have you not been on the footplate? Tell you what, actually, we're coming up to a station, so if you want to come and have a look on the footplate and have a go, see if you can get us to the next station. <laughs> Let's give it a go. Thanks for joining us on this journey, Terry. I mean, this is a journey you've done many times. Too many times to we remember them all, actually, uh, Piglet. So what got you involved in the railway? So I used to do photography, and then just by uh, chance, uh, we were able to get a ride on one of these. And I thought, wow, this is uh, jolly decent. Yeah. And, uh, and from that time on till the end of steam, I used to do that quite regularly. Around about the same time, the North Yorkshire Moors Railway was in its infancy and it was just waiting there, sleeping. Yeah. Waiting for us to come, us enthusiasts to yeah. come and waking it up. Yeah, with so some of the, I mean, it's certainly good. waking things oh, up now, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah, and, and I think, I mean, back then then, did you ever think about, you know, the future and what the railway would look like? I mean, there in its infancy, you were, you were gathering steam engines up, you were helping put a railway together. It must have been hard to imagine back then about what the future was Absolutely. going to be like. I had a, a little bit of an inkling of yeah. what we might be involved in. Yeah. But an 18-mile railway through the moors in the wilderness, oh, I had no idea at all. We learned as we went along. I mean, all of us had skills that were transferable from our own jobs to certain jobs on here, but the specifics were taught by people who were in the railway for a long, long period. Yeah. So I consider I was lucky in the respect that my learning was directly from people who'd done this right then. And through my career here, I've tried to pass those knowledge and skills on to those people I've worked with. Yeah, and I mean, that is, is exactly that. You've got that, yes. that knowledge that you've passed on to the likes of me, and now I'm passing it on to our, our junior volunteers in the future. And that's what it's all about, this yes. continuous progression of passing on knowledge, passing on skills, to make sure that the railway is here for another 50 years. Every volunteer and paid staff we need everybody to keep this place running. The cost, coal, and all the rest yeah. of it, this railway line's had to be renewed over time, new bridges, and we couldn't run a service here purely on the fares that yeah. we collect. If we stand still, inevitably, we'll slide away into yeah. oblivion. And we don't want that, do we? No. We just no. We want to move it forward and make it better and better. I mean, Terry, it's been great. You know, thanks for joining us on this journey and listening to all your, your stories. I just hope there's many more people follow me and be in the same position. Mm. And yeah. I'm sure you feel the same.
for yourself. I, I do. It's yeah, really yeah. important for it yeah, yeah. to go, yeah. you know, keep moving forward. Thanks, Jack, for joining us on this journey on the Great Western Saloon. It's nice, very fancy. What got you started on the MYMR? It goes back to when I was a baby. And right. My granddad would bring me to visit quite regularly. I yeah. got bitten by the bug and I've not really ever looked back since. You've been on the railway quite a few years now, haven't you, as one of our juniors? It's been absolutely great. It's such a positive environment. I think that's mainly because if people are here, it's because they want to be here. This is where I want to be for the rest of my life. Right, so I think it's time for a bit of a quiz. I've, I'm yeah. slightly nervous about this, actually. Fair enough. <laughs> what was the first rail vehicle to arrive on MYMR? First rail vehicle? Wasn't the little DMU rail bus thing? That's it. Yeah, it's yeah. a little 040 rail yeah. bus, wasn't it? Uh, Bubble car, it was sort of called. Yeah. Well, I kind of got that one right, I'll tell yeah. How many bridges are situated along the line between Greymont and Pickering? How many bridges? Whoa, um, I know there's a lot. I mean, that's one of the challenges of our railway, is the fact that there's a lot of infrastructure to maintain. So I'm going to say, I'm going to pick a round number, I'm going to say 40. Painfully close. <laughs> the answer's 36. 36, ah, oh, far out. Which two locomotives transported the Olympic torch in 2012? I do know one of them, because I was on it, and that was 75029. And then when we took that from Whitby, we went to Gromont, and it was then transferred onto Sir Nigel Gresley, Correct. And taken down to Pickering. That's right, yeah. yes. How high is Gotham Summit? Now it tells you on the sign there, doesn't yeah. it? How many times have I passed that? <laughs> is it 532 feet? Correct. Yes! Oh, I didn't think you'd get that one. How long is the double track railway tunnel at Gromont Station? 240 foot. 238. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good guess. Well, thanks for the quiz, Jack. Testing no my problem. knowledge and proving that I don't know quite everything. <laughs> I look forward to working with you in the, in the future and stuff like that, because, I mean, you know, how important it is getting and lads like you involved and lasses involved in keeping this railway running, because we've got another 50 years to do now. Through your donations, you have an opportunity to leave a real legacy to help keep the MYMR on track for future generations. <laughs>